Coming to you from the St. Bridget's Centre of the Arts located here in Ottawa's Lower Town, this is the St. Bridget's Sessions. If you do not know, the St. Bridget's Centre for the Arts is a multidisciplinary venue for all kinds of artistic, cultural and social events. The centre is actually housed in St. Bridget's, a former Catholic church built in 1890 and is located at 310 St. Patrick Street. St. Bridget's Sessions are brought to you by Bridget's Well, a pub located in the basement of St. Bridget's and accessible by the entrance on Cumberland Street. Bridget's Well opens at 4 p.m. Wednesday through Sunday. My name is Stephen Neal, and our performer today on the sessions is Lucky Ron. Welcome to the St. Bridget's Sessions. Thank you for having me. We're going to uh, play a couple songs, then we'll come back and we'll have a little chat. Sounds good. Past a bottle, the one that's green and cold, the one that stood beside me when you left me out in the cold. I don't like remembering the way things used to be. So thank you, Mr. Jameson, for saving me from me. Because it's Irish whiskey that keeps me in this town. Yeah, it's Irish whiskey. I can't put that stuff down. I've been from rags to riches and back to rags again. But it's an Irish whiskey. You'll always. empty bottle put it up there on the shelf sign it from the luxster for your newborn love and wealth but you took all that from me and it hasn't come back yet so I'll just keep on trying to remember to forget Cause it's Irish whiskey that keeps me in this town. Yeah, it's Irish whiskey. Tom, another round. I've been from rags to riches and back to rags again. But it's a Irish whiskey. Yeah, I'll wait Sitting alone in the Texas tavern, staring at the TV on the wall. I always watch the news on Channel 19. Cause there's a girl who looks a lot like you. Waitress, she brings another bourbon. At the corner of the bar, the boys tell dirty jokes. But I don't even hear them. I stare into my drink, cause that's the only place that I'll see you again. Cause I'm just drinking my way back. If you only knew how hard I tried And I tried, Lord, it's true I won't 
and I'm blue I'm just a drinking my way back to you Closing time at the Texas Tavern Bartender says it's time for me to go I wish I'd never said her words to you Cause you're the only girl I've ever loved And after all the time we spent together Now all that's left between us is miles of railroad steel as I'll walk by a phone booth, I wish that I could call and have a ticket in my hand and not a beer. Cause I'm just drinking my way back to you. Heaven only knows how hard I tried. I tried. Lord, it's true, I won't submit I'm blue, I guess I'm breaking my way back to you, yeah, I'm just drinking my way back to you, Lord, I'm just drinking my way back to you. You're listening to the St. Bridget Sessions here on CKCU 93.1 FM. My name is Steve Neal, and with me, of course, is the uh, irrepressible Lucky Ron. And who do you have playing with uh, you here this uh, this day? This is uh, Keith Snyder we have here. He's uh, worked on and off with uh, with our organization for uh, about uh, <laughs> since, um, I guess, the, since the late 80s, I'm going to make a guess, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, we used to have some other fellers, and then uh, we got rid of the dead weight, and uh, we heard some tell about this fella being available, and the next thing you know, here he is. He is. Yeah. There he is. And yeah. well, you're ta you talked about the, uh, the institution or the uh, organization, and yeah. of course, you recently celebrated your 30th anniversary doing the Lucky Ron show. I have. It's Congratulations. It's February the 1st. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah it was, uh, I missed about, about maybe three shows or something uh, during that. All Saturdays, uh, we're talking Saturdays, of course. So when I first started off, I was doing Wednesdays as well, like I've like for years and years and years and years and years. Mm -hmm. Then we, you find that uh, you're moving the show around and everything. And they just, uh, it seems that most of the establishments, when I was trying to bring the Wednesdays back, they all just like begrudge having to pay me what I asked for, you know? And uh, it, the way I always see it is, uh, as long as you're making, as long as you're making more money at your at your bar than you were if I wasn't there, like what's the, what's the problem, you know? And some of the places you have played, more so on the Saturday, uh, include you started way back at Mexicali Roses. Yes, I started there in '86, and I was at Mexicali Roses downstairs club, upstairs club. Mm -hmm. Uh, back and forth, and then across the street where they took over the hayloft thing, and I was there for 12 years. Um, that, that I, the whole time, 12, Saturdays and Wednesdays, the whole time there. And one thing that, uh, of course, your, your show, the Lucky Ron show on Saturdays, features a lot of cover songs, but one thing that we're <coughs> featuring here today, too, is the original songs. We heard two original songs from you, Irish Whiskey and uh -huh. Drinking My Way. Yeah. And those are available, you have a CD out? Yes, uh, uh, we've just went through the second batch. They they're not available at the very second, but they will be again very shortly, as soon as we can get, uh, <laughs> in case we get some sucker <laughs> to put the money forward for it. How about the interweb thing? The inter uh, that, uh, I, d I don't know what the, what the heck the story on that is, because I don't know how to uh, operate anything uh, uh, more complex than a Massey Ferguson tractor, so like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I don't know if there's any sales going. Yes, yes, so I got a $52 check last year. Well, which is the second, <laughs> which is the second biggest check I've gotten uh, since the '80s in, in all my recording. Uh, oh, fair enough. Yeah. What um, when it comes to writing, like you have obviously a great and strong connection with country music, 
And how did that come to be, and, or and how did it evolve? Um, well, to start with, uh, um, at the very, very, very beginning of it, in the early 60s, we used to take uh, trips with the family down into the Adirondack Mountains and stuff. And um, no matter what station you played in, like, you know, like, say, 62, 63, there was not, wasn't anything at all at any of the stations except country music. So that, you get the first, uh, you know, this first taste of it then, and it's all like you'd really think about. The only other stuff that was on television at the time was, you know, like um, the Lawrence Welk show and stuff. So. Uh, <laughs> which is another story that might have polka influences. But, uh, so we listened to this stuff. My father buy the singles, you know, Wolverton Mountain and George Jones stuff and all that. And this is before the Beatles broke. So uh, then the, when the Beatles happened to come along, uh, naturally I was like, oh, Beatle this and Beatle that with the Elvis Presley thing before that. Then it led to the Monkees and it led to this and that and then all the rock stuff, Alice Hoover, all that. Then I started to put together rockabilly bands with a lot of country influences on those suckers. And I did that for over a decade. And then from there, it went right back to the, uh, back to the, the old country style stuff that I was listening to. And um, the next best thing after the Lawrence Welk show in those days, the closest thing to rock and roll at the time, then the Johnny Cash show came out in about 68. Mm -hmm. And that, was, that was, wasn't just the closest thing to it, it actually was pretty rock and rollish, you know. And uh, that's, so that's sort of stuck in the, I've always had that huge influence of Johnny Cash thing. But one thing too, though, you used to play in a band, the Black Donnellys, and you really concentrated on music that was recorded from a certain era. Yeah. And yeah. I think I read somewhere, or remember you saying one time, well, I don't really know any Willie Nelson songs because they're too new. That's right, yes. And does that, that time frame or that sound, does that come through in your writing, do you think? Um, it's in some in some degrees, I suppose, not as as like large of like when the Black Donnellys. Like we were at, uh, for most of the time we were together, which was twelve years. For most of the time, we had a ten piece band there. We had like two two fiddles, two trumpets, a lot of western swing stuff. Um, the bands aren't quite as big now. We're, we're working with a with a five piece, so it's not quite as much there. But I think the sound with you know you know a little more bare. But I, yeah, sure it is. Of course it is. That's something that'll always be in my music. Yeah. All right, well, let's, uh, how about we uh, play a couple more songs and we'll come back and uh, chat some more here okay. on the St. Bridget Sessions on CKCU 93.1 FM with Lucky Ron and Keith Snyder. I got a loaded last night on a bottle of gin And I had a fight with my best girlfriend Cause when I'm drinking I'm nobody's friend Please baby wait for me Until they let me out again I know the same thing Has happened before Every time it does, I hate it more and more Cause when I'm drinking, I'm nobody's friend Please baby, wait for me until they let me out again I spent a whole lot of time Sitting there and thinking Sitting Just the thinking about you If I didn't spend so much time Sitting there and drinking We'd still have the love that we once knew Now I can't promise that it won't happen again But I can promise It'll be a long, long time till then Cause when I'm drinking I'm nobody's friend Please baby, wait for me Until they let me out again Spent a whole lot of time 
sitting there and thinking Sitting Just a thinking about you If I didn't spend so much time Sitting there and drinking We'd still have the love that we once knew Now, I can't promise it won't happen again But I can promise it'll be a long, long time till then Cause when I'm drinking, I'm nobody's friend Please, baby, wait for me until they let me out again Please, baby, wait for me until they let me out again Wells. Yes, I was lost, but now I'm found. I built my house on solid ground. Yes, I was lost, but now I'm found. The sun is shining, shining down. The road is dark, black as a Bible. There was no stars to light my way. Yes, I was lost, but now I'm found I built my house on solid ground Yes, I was lost, but now I'm found The sun is shining, shining down Yes, I was lost, but now I'm found. I built my house on solid ground. Yes, I was lost, but now I'm found. The sun is shining, it's shining down. The sun is shining, it's shining down. The sun is shining, it's shining down. That's lost and found from Lucky Ron and uh, Keith Schneider, and yep. how appropriate to play uh, a gospel song here at uh, St. Bridget's in the Center for the Arts, which of course is a former church. Yep. And uh, how much did uh, do you are you a big listener to country gospel, bluegrass gospel, or uh, the good, only the good stuff? You know, <laughs> yes. like uh, there's a lot of the stuff, like the, yeah. the, the older stuff or so, traditional sounding stuff. I, I like it quite a bit. I don't listen to it a lot at home. I just sort of listen to it whenever I get the, uh, uh, you know, like the honor or uh, an opportunity to do mm -hmm. so. You know, but there's some really bad stuff out there oh, too, yeah. though. You know, like for example, you know, uh, I love Tennessee Ernie Ford, but then you got out of this out of this kick where he's doing all these gospel albums. Yeah. Like, Back away. Oh, no, man, yeah. It's like the, he got a little old. Uh, he got uh, too old, too young sort of a thing that they're pretty... Uh, well, they're not really... They're not what I call good. 
Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they have that sort of that eerie slickness to them. Yeah, some of those recordings that it was yeah. just like a little too much. But all the other stuff he does is wonderful. But it's yeah. pretty clear there. Some of the st other stuff, though, you know, I got these uh, Jack Scott out of Windsor, Ontario. He put out a couple of uh, gospel albums. One of them is called "The Spirit uh, That Moves Me." <laughs> I've actually got two copies of it by mistake, <laughs> and I'll tell you, that's really good. It's got a good jump to it, and it's nothing traditional about it at all. But, um, that there is. Uh, if you can find it, I suggest you get the copy of that. It's, it's got all the classics on it, nothing original or anything, you know. You mentioned uh, earlier that, you know, Johnny Cash is a big, big influence of yours. And then you just mentioned Tennessee Ford. And who are some of the maybe the <coughs> perhaps more unknown country musicians that you really think more people should hear? Well, the uh, d depending on... Uh, who were speaking about the, uh, the unknown thing, like for any of the younger people, um, mm. uh, you know, like Webb Pierce and Farron Young and Carl Smith and stuff, but you know, the, the real country people know those, but as far as like period, like Marvin Rainwater is a good example. There's a, a very good example, if you like uh, anything between rockabilly music and uh, uh, hillbilly jump and yodeling and uh, You've probably got a couple of gospel albums up there too. I imagine they're pretty good though, because uh, <coughs> there's no holding that guy down. Mm -hmm. No, no holding that guy down at all. Marvin Rainwater. He's got a whole bunch of records. I just died about two years ago. He's 86 or 87 or something. But he was a real rocker. That guy too. You know, he was pretty darn, very impressive. Other than that, I don't know. well, that's a pretty impressive list to yeah. begin with, anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, there's a, you know, there's. For everything I mentioned, there's like, you know, like I think of, there's like 500 more of them in like my, my record collection, you know, like it's, uh, it's all the old stuff. I like a lot of the brother acts too, like the, the Leuven Brothers was great, and the Wilburn Brothers is another great act if you, if, you like, if you like listening to songs with people singing in them, you know, because <laughs> they definitely did some singing on those records there. But other than that, you know, I, I just like the, it's, it's just the old stuff. As far as like the other side of it goes is all the mountain stuff, you know, Flat and Scruggs, like that's another my favorite stuff. That's, that stuff gives me goosebumps. And do you still listen to uh, Flats and Scruggs? Yeah, I got, a, I, got a, I got a, like a stack of those suckers, like, 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 like yeah, whenever I, uh, whenever I dig into the old archives <clears throat> at the Lucky Ron Museum, uh, <laughs> RR2 Navin, uh, I pull out those things and they're, they're really, we used to do a whole bunch of them, eh? We used to do these parties, uh, I guess you could call them parties, uh, out in the country there at a friend's, on a friend's island, and we did, we did a whole bunch of this stuff, you know. And uh, you know something? I actually get goosebumps even thinking about that yeah. stuff, because it's really good, you know. Oh, I love when you can yeah. go back and hear something that yeah. may have had an impact on you when you first heard it, and you keep going back to it sometimes, and, and you hear, and you just hear either the same thing or something new within that song yeah. because you're so intensely listening to it. It's crazy too because it's especially it's even a better feeling when you when you get like to be my age for something actually it could excite you like that. It's, yeah. it's very exciting even to be able to be excited about listening to some of this stuff you know. Yeah, pretty dark. Wouldn't you say? Not that he's my age. <laughs> <laughs> he's the kid here. Yeah. Well, we're going to uh, take it out with, uh, we're going to hear one more song, then we'll come back and, okay. and uh, have a little, one more little chat. But you're listening to the St. Bridget Sessions here on CKCU 93.1 FM, recorded at the St. Bridget Centre for the Arts, and it's brought to you <coughs> by Bridget's Well, a pub, which is located right here in the basement of this former church. How good is that? Yeah, a I, pub I, I've, in been a church. There. I've been in there before. All right. That, by the way, I'd just like to mention the first two songs are uh, written by Dave over here. And that last one, that gospel one, is also a Dave song. That's right, and that's called Lost and Found. Yeah. And this last little set, this, you this begin is, this with... Is the, a, this last one's my, my, my song. It never made the album because we didn't get the album finished in time for Christmas. It's a Christmas song. Take it away. I will. <laughs> Valentine's and St. Patty's Day Bring lovers and green beer Easter Sunday and Victoria Day We celebrate each year Thanksgiving, Turkey, Halloween Put on your frightful gear But all I gotta say to that is I hate Xmas The 
stringing of the popcorn to wind around the tree. The brandy, rum, and eggnog don't seem so bad to me. The sleigh bells and the carolers going up and down the street. But all I gotta say to that is, I hate Xmas. The darling little baby asleep in the hay For two thousand years he calmed our fears and died for us one day The TV preacher tells us, get on your knees and pray But all I gotta say to that is, I hate Xmas Then I felt a little tugging on the tail my shirt. I turned around and to my surprise there stood little Gert. She asked me why I hated Xmas. Her eyes were filled with hurt and I said because it takes the Christ out of Christmas. I hate Xmas. Is that going to be a future single, perhaps a um, October, November of this year? Believe it or not, it actually has already been a single, but oh, okay. it was uh, before uh, before I recorded it. Uh, it was a single put up by the McGillicuddy Sisters. That's right. Yeah. I do. As you were mentioning that, I did uh, start to remember that. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you uh, so much for uh, coming in here today My to uh, play for us in the St. Bridget Sessions. Uh -huh. Well, it was an awful pleasure, and it's a beautiful building, and uh, thanks for the drinks. <laughs> no problem, we'll have some more in uh, just a minute. But you've been listening to the St. Bridget Sessions recorded here at the St. Bridget Centre for the Arts located in Ottawa's Lower Town at 310 St. Patrick Street. Our performer has been Lucky Ron with Keith Schneider. Thank you to Keith for coming in. I'm your host, Stephen Neal, and I'd like to thank our production team of David Bignall, Mike Houston, Bernadette Coughlin, Patricia Trail, Robert Patterson, Jason LaRue, and Liam Tyrrell. The St. Bridget Sessions are brought to you by Bridget's Well, a pub located in the basement of the center, which is accessible by the entrance on Cumberland Street. Don't forget, Bridget's Well is open beginning at 4 p.m. Wednesday through Sunday. Thank you so much for listening. I took a road I should not have taken Through wasted lands where darkness dwells Yes, I was lost, but now I'm found I built my house on solid ground Yes, I was lost, but now I'm found